small cross. That's what I'm looking for. Zero. Save. Alright, restart game. Shit. Yeah, those... Yeah, they fuck with your cross here. They fuck with some settings and stuff. It's kind of annoying. Dude, I could really use a sandwich right now, though. Like, for real? Just... Nom nom that shit. Forty nine thousand. And there's uh, somebody you told me to do anything right now. I could like anything right now. Ah! Oh my god! I have to turn that off. Wait, I have to. Change the volume because it's in my config. There we go. Now it's looks loud. Alright. Uh, do you guys want view models or nah? Do you have fuse min view models? Zero. No, no, no. no. We already saw the mid, so it doesn't matter. Let's see, what's he gonna do? Oh yeah, right. So, yeah, he rolled 404 early with the early spam, and then he gets the kill, and kills Banny. Gets damage on Muma too. Scout has to come back to look for him, but he basically had a pretty good mid. He didn't make space, but he got the key picks. I'm assuming Salentis probably jumped for space. Both the scouts died, so... It won't really matter, they'll be able to take second here. He's playing Roamer here, by the way. Mike on land. Well, rockets will always be crisp. He's just kind of good in terms of soldier DM. This is a weird Froyo team because Fanny has like literally none of his old Froyo teammates on it. He's missing Blaze, Clockwork, Shade. Like none of those guys are here on that team. So probably the weakest Froyo has ever been. Yeah, I do remember Free State playing really well. Which is like, not really the player you probably want to be the strongest player on your team. He's getting good damage, but he has to leave. Nice, really nice jump there at the end to get out, actually. It's be like, I don't know, if he had a poopy jump, then he would have died. Easy spam. This should be... He's on Spire, he's home. He needs an arrow. He wants to get the pack and stuff. I might try the arrow him twice anyway. They're free. They're looking for somebody. Okay. They just have Mega this ad. Yeah, they have to get out. And he gets dropped because Sprat couldn't commit for some reason. Now they have Uber again. Solantis is in. They stopped the cap. That was a really nice stop. Oh, he barely missed. He's staying on second because of all the cap time. He's wary of the back half. Checking lava, yeah, there's a guy behind. Nice. He might just sit on Spire again. I got stole all of his, everything he needed. Ammo, health, that's okay. Now, Koss is playing with you. Yeah, there's the back half guy. I guess he wasn't like looking for it, but that's what he should have been doing. Yeah, that guy got the calf too. He should have like known that that was going to happen. Cost drops. They have the calf. So Freya should be fighting this right away. Yeah, here they are. Good spam. He's really good at uh, tagging the medic as the medic's walking in, actually. Okay, random rocket. That was an accidental kill. He didn't mean to get that kill. He just <laughs> he just loves his offward rockets. He's doing a lot of damage though, like just from like across the map damage. Is Captain better than Mike? 
Um. Who knows, really? I don't know. I. I I couldn't say. I you need like a a super euro nerd to come in to tell you like someone who's played against both of them. Someone who's like, you know, I don't know, respectable enough to give you an opinion. Played against them, with them, either. Okay, he just denies both soldiers with one rocket. That's kind of sick. Oh. Uh. Best zero demo? I was a fan of, um... I was a fan of Ali. Like I was kind of newer, and he didn't really. I guess he didn't play a super ton a lot, but I thought he was just really good for a Euro demo. Man, he's so weak. This team managed to get the cap. He stalled the back half enough. Yeah, Rib was really good. Rib, Rib, Numlocked, Cadis are like generally like safe answers. That Lucas guy is really good, like nowadays. I think. I don't know if he still plays. I don't I don't really know what the Euro scene is like right now. I think it's like even more dead than the NA scene. Chief's house. Big plant. Oh no. He got spotted immediately. Nice direct. Oh, he trades with TLR. Which Honestly, he didn't have the TLR didn't have to trade with him, so Mike is in the positive for getting that. Is it way more a lot? I don't know. Like seven quit, and I don't know what the best team is. What's up, Kyle Shin? Gets Banny. Resets for it. Mike is doing. Godly amounts of damage, though, in general. Just high impact. Padlands is kind of his playground. Too bad we'll never uh, see this map be played again. Alright. Ice back up. He likes to push bridge, which is kind of weird. I guess it's like easy damage, he just knocks the sticks off. Okay, that was a weird trap for Muma. Badlands around around. There's like a weird map wall if you play. You're gonna literally uh, back half. Free state? Yeah, free state. Badlands and Granary, I think, yeah. Dude, Gullywash is fun as fuck. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, I guess. Like, back in the day, Gullywash was AIDS, but Scout Speed made Gullywash a playable map. Without Scout Speed, Gullywash is just like a pocket sausage fest. Soldier sausage fest. He's doing the rollout again. He gets that angle perfectly. 4-4 doesn't fall for it. 4-4 rolls out house. Damn. That okay, so Mike is so in the heads of Froyo that Froyo has to roll out house and they just lose the mid. Just because of that. That is Oh, don't! There's three cough maps. Oh no. Mystery bagel, bagel clear cut, and fire. Uh, I don't know what people think. RGL kind of just made the decision on their own. All right, free state killed Mike. It was mostly a trade. The lash clutch. Wow, the lash killed both of them. It's Ast versus Muma. Ast is kind of really good too. Muma dead, but he gets the pipes. Uh, unfortunate. I clutch that. Honestly, if Asta just traded for Mima, then it'd be good, but this is such a hard point to push out, they're not going there. Keep it was fun to watch, terrible to play, dude. That's just... That's just 
how I feel about it. Alright, let's see. It's a kill. It's another kill. He's just cleaning up off, off of Salantos. He waddles around, does 500 damage. Cost doesn't have Uber. 2v, 2v4 here. Muma has not hit a single point of damage. And they just capped the point. Wow. Muma needed to use that Uber to get kills. Uh, aside from Banny, it's gotta be Habib. Habib, Habib played before Eric. It's Habib then Eric. Yeah, it's Banny, Habib then Eric. And then I guess Patty. Like Patty's kind of like on and off. So, like I guess Patty would be like he was on Froyo before all of them, but Habib Habib has played longer. In terms of the number of seasons, so. Dude, Freyo does not know what to do on these mids. They're trying everything. House, closet. I right, kind of beef there. Nice damage on that scout, though. That pretty much wins the mid. Well, the mid's already won. Now you can catch the mid because the mid doesn't have stat speed. Oof. You still gonna go? Damn. Now they beefed. Wow. Muma clutched that by uh, trapping that off. Muma, Muma used to do a lot of damage before Froyo, but you know. On Froyo, on Froyo, he definitely did boss. They back have to win? No, they don't, but they should hold second because of that. Because there are people at last. He isn't spotted. He wasn't spotted. He might be able to just back have this easy. Muma's at last. With the med, three of them are at last. He has to trade on TLR, wow. He was just like in a complete position to not trade and ended up trading anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely. I think just like being able to play with Banny is an advantage in itself because you're never like in a situation where you're lost. You have like a good caller, you just. Keeps the team on track. That's definitely like a nice thing. Yeah, he's getting rolled. Wow, he just dodged that. He do he traded with Patty somehow, but he dodged that rocket like a Spire Lord would dodge it. Uh, somehow, Ash just dies a lot. Muma's probably. Muma's really good at just holding a doorway, apparently. I mean, Clockwork plays video games like every day, so that's not surprising. Like, it's not like he stopped playing games. I like holding him up. He hits that. Nice. Okay, that damage is enough for the team to win the fight, basically. 4 4 hit a nutty arrow to keep him in, and they get back half. 2 1. I'm here to learn from the Chang himself. You won't learn much. You won't. All you'll learn is that Mike has the best DM in the game. We're watching a I58 Mike demo for fun. This map isn't even played anymore. It's just really sad. All right, so Freya have tried three different mids and lost all three, and mainly because Mike is just in their heads from that first mid. So they're going, they're going left again. He's really good spam. He pretty much denies the fact that like half the team can walk up just from shooting that spot over and over. 4 4 finally gets in. By this point, uh, Pulse really messed that up because Mike pretty much nice. They got two kills. Yeah, they win. Okay. Basically, like the three people who were up without heals should have like been really hurt or died early. Now they're up. Now it's even Ubers. He needs ammo so badly. He goes for the air shot with two rockets left instead of jumping away to get ammo. 
MGE Mike. Yeah, you want to be pressured there, just because the way Froyo like played that mid, six people on one side. So he knows like he can just jump up and spam. All right, someone's is dead. He's out of ammo too, apparently. All right, even Ubers since they exchanged on mid. Mike spawns so they can fight second. And Fultil definitely wants to. They're an aggressive team. No, they're not going to number one. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't have. Mike wasn't there in time to defend it. That was a really good Uber exchange from uh, TLR to actually like win the mid that had already been lost. Kind of a TLR special. Full Tilt did not need to exchange with them at all. They had the numbers and they just opted to trade Ubers, which is really poopy decision making. I swear that Versus would be walk up for free and hold it mid, so yeah. Well, Habib's just like a different player, like, he looks at literally everybody. Habib's probably the player with the most game impact in TF2. Like, disregard being like the best player, he, he definitely uh, holds the highest impact. I don't think any other player, like, in, if you're in a server with him, like, just can do what he does. And a lot of it is like reputation too, like at a certain point you're just like afraid to push because it's Habib. So Mike's doing the cube to hold last, this is weird, but they did get back half the first round they lost, so you have to be cautious. Somebody probably, yeah they caught cap, popping fast load. Patty's behind. Mike can just retreat through the pack and a scout can come back to help him. Just kidding, Patty forces the fight, which is a good call on Patty's part. And they get the trade. Yeah, Benny yeah, Benny's definitely a high impact player, but I'm just I'm I'm just saying like as of right now, you will always notice Habib more than you'll notice Banny when you're playing against them. Benny's just, Benny's just like the best leader in the game, like period. It's a better caller than pretty much anybody as well. Alright, so he's opting the whole drop down. No, uh, interesting. He, he doesn't hold reset, he holds drop down. Which is a interesting play, but it's a nice one because that means a scout can't get behind, which I guess Euros will be worried about. Okay, there's there's a combo. I guess he doesn't get stuck in forward, but it's easier to push him. Yeah, he's just uh he he should have been holding Reese up there. Resupply infinite ammo, he would have been able to force red. They would have had to worry about him and but now he's just dead. Costas, Benny, big pinch, Slantus to kill. Damn, Slantis so is owning right now. As Med was the first one to die. Oh, and he gets Banny too. Wow. Slantis so actually salvages that. Now they can actually fight too. Yeah, 2v3. And only one team has a scout, so this is actually fightable. Like with the big flank from House. Oh, it's so fat. They don't even look at him. Oh my god. He just kills all three. Damn, Slantis so actually just like. Someone's just taking out both scouts, just set that up for for Mike. That was so fat. I don't think that's a sub icon. This is this is the worst Froyo like of all time. Like there was never a worse Froyo than this. Okay, he just fed. Epic play, then he feeds. 2v4, Demo's gonna die. They're gonna have to hold last off this. Mike does get the spawn wave though, so he could like, he could just sit in forwards or something. He could just sit in forwards and then go for a flank play. He wants to push out, no. Wow, he's so lucky somehow that he didn't die there. This is I-58.
Alright, so he just pulls bottom left. Nobody's gonna pressure the point. Freo Ubered in just now, it sounded like, so yeah. He just walks on the ground. Nice surf to get into the main, but there's a soldier back in the lobby. Uh, okay, Ali's in the tube. There's no way they hold this. I don't think. If Ass dies, they lose. Ass cannot die. Ali is only useful as long as someone else is alive. Nice, okay, Ass got TLR, they hold now. Yeah, good. That that entire like Ali being in the two there, the entire hold depends on Ass like staying alive to shoot people in the back, so Ali can't be pressured off it. For you, Free State really like beefed that because he didn't win the the fight against Ali or it Ast and Ast um. Yeah, Ass being alive there pretty much saved it. If if someone had basically helped free kill Ass, then then it's just the easy last push. Okay, they dropped to ten seconds on one spawn. The scout's in preemptively, so oh wow, he lives. Nice, they got a kill. Oh my god, cost. Yeah, they lost a lot. Two two, I think. Yeah, two two. That's the worst part about this map is it's so hard to hold if uh, you don't, you're not six up, but it's impossible to push if the other team six up. Oh yeah, they have the little in between round uh, talk time for strats. I don't know, I don't know what to call it, like the little attack time. I don't know. So Mike, well, Mike has pretty much had good mid so far. Really aggressive jump early onto the scouts. That's doesn't die for it. Catches a spam on a 404. He's shooting shit out because he knows that's the only place he can go through. It's free damage. Yeah, he just shoots. He shot. He just shot the med like three times that mid. Med has to be like 80 or so. They can't mid. That's really good for them. They have better spawns now. These guys are all... So, similar situation to last mid, but they actually have the point this time. Wigger damage. Going for air shots. This met doesn't even have Uber. He doesn't have rockets, he just... He sees air shot, he, he goes for it. Nice, he gets Patty, now they can dry off the exchange. He still has no rockets, he's just walking in fearlessly towards the other team's resupply with no rockets. Good damage, but can't commit. No health, no ammo. I'm surprised he wanted to get the arrow before the ammo. Still no ammo. He just never has rockets. He just never will have rockets ever again. He really needs that. Uh... Okay, that guy took that. Yeah, they, they literally had to give up mid because he just is not loaded. Okay. Um, go flank. So he's back in this spot. I wonder if he'll off to reset. Yeah, he will. Just with the ammo. Oh, unlucky. Wow, that timing is so awful. He needed ammo, so he had to go to resupply. And the moment he chose to go to resupply, the sold, they double soldier through flank. That's so unlucky. The timing is just awful. Kills Patty. Gets this kill. No, it's not gonna be holdable even if he does. Three, two, wait! Oh my god! Okay, maybe it was hold no. Damn. Yeah, I didn't think it would be I didn't think they got another kill off of that. Muma doing his taunts. I'm gonna turn off the view model. I feel like it's distracting me for some reason. Alright. 
good damage on the scout under if they combine they get the kill. Now he just jumps to shit house and I'll have a free bomb. Nice, gets them that easy. That's always like the worst part about going up uh, that side on mid. Badlands mid is just so predictable for where medics will be that roamers are just like able to get easy bombs on them. It's just not fun for medics. He knew he knew exactly where 404 would be because 404 has literally no options once he gets through uh, shit house there. So what's this play now? They have full add because he got 404 on mid. Cost is the last one in the lobby. He sees the gun, they know where the gun is early on. That's a terrible gun spot. Froyo Bandy's gun spot. So no gun. They should win this fairly easy, I think, because the Uber doesn't want to shoot the gun. Shoots into the spawn because you know that the Uber's shoving top left, so top right will be the only place everybody will have to come out of, and he gets free damage. While someone pushes the point. So it's just free all around. They stuff both doors and they force the other team to come out to one of them to lose. He's doing so much damage. It's good decision making. But overall just good. I thought his I thought his last push would have been bad because he took damage early, but because uh the Froyo soldiers weren't really like poking in the lobby or anything, like their flank wasn't really looking to push forward, he was able to do a lot. So they decided to go right this mid even though they've dominated every mid so far. Wow, and he just kills 4-4 four four on the slope again. That's the third mid he's killed 404, there's been 5 mids, it's pretty good for him. This map, this map, Granary, Sunshine, and Gully are all the worst medic main uh, mid maps. Any map that you can get spammed across the map is just bad for medic because, like, that little bit of damage that tags you early just makes it so much harder to survive. You're the only class that can't like get health back quickly because you can't get healed by a medic, so. Viaduct? Viaduct, I think, is, um... I think Viaduct is, like... It's kind of like process for Medic, in, like, the way that, like, you have so much free... You have so much freedom to move that, like, you can just rely on your mechanics. Basically, like, for those two maps, like, you survive based on mechanics and positioning, like, really well. I don't think Viaduct is medic a bad Medic map at all. I think... I think that if you're like active as medic, then you'll live a lot more on Viaduct. Like if your team is actively doing things and you're actively like moving around, it's it's one of my favorite medic maps, honestly. Even the, even with like poor mechanics, I don't know. It's so it's such a fun map because like it forces you to be good. Like even even if you have like. Poor mechanics. You can. I don't think my mechanics are like that great for a meta. Okay, nice. The double spam. They got two off that actually. Wow. That was a sniper. Okay, one of them was not. That makes sense. Now they just shove through bottom right because it's open. They killed the flank. Nice. They get three. Ban okay, yeah. Four four drop through. But that's a free round. Mike can. Mike has time to get this pack because it's a new exchange going on anyway. Now he just has to watch the door as the spawners come in. He kind of beefs. He kind of beefs really hard on that scout, but it doesn't matter because of how great everything was. Land rockets, and uh, I don't think everybody has their reset button yet. I don't know. See, like, the thing is, like, Patty should have been peeking bottom left to know. This is I 58. But yeah, watch an I 58 demos. He does 
He likes his. He really loves this train mid here. Spams the demo earlier to see if he can tag him because he knows the demo will probably go back. Muma is so slow on the rollout that Mike is at mid faster on their train than Muma is the mid, which is so game losing, especially on a map like Badlands where the early demo damage is everything. It's his free kill. Muma is just walking forward. Trusts that Muma will die, but Muma doesn't die and kills Koss because Mike didn't look at him. Damn. Oh, that's actually unfortunate. He tagged him with like enough damage that he thought someone would clean him up, I think. Like he thought it was just like worth like Mumo's in a worthless position, but apparently Mumo just walks through house and kills him again. Nice production rocket. Now he's ammo for the first time in his life. So get health here, and then even Ubers both Mets that at mid. They think they do have this hat because 404 died earlier. I don't know what 404 died to. You. Could be crits. Because Troy is down rounds, and time has to be really close now. Let me check the demo UI. So there's two minutes left in this, and they're at four rounds. I don't know. Yeah, the crits that sound like I don't know, it might have been Uber. Yeah, it was crits. Okay, yeah, they they read it right. Um Yeah, Freo definitely would go with crits for a desperation and play with little time left on the slim mad. He could have killed 404 there. I guess it doesn't matter. Now they just win. They heal up and they'll push two kills easy. Wasn't this the last map of this? No, Gully Wash was the last map of the set. Um, Full Tilt wins this map, Froyo wins Snake Water, and Full Tilt wins Gully Wash. This line was fun to watch, even though the teams weren't as strong as they are now. Like, it was a pretty. Pretty enjoyable experience. Watching Froyo lose is just so rare, so. And I'm pretty sure almost most people were rooting for Full Tilt to win. Mike types, why did you pick this map? There goes Patty. Yeah, there's, it's dead time, so it doesn't even matter what they do now. That's uh, the Mike POV. I'm gonna dig through my folder again and we can uh, vote on uh, the next demo. I don't wanna watch Mike again, but I do have more of his POVs from this land. So let's see, real quick. Sorry, I just closed my game. I'll relaunch it. Um. Fuggity. I have I have a couple of random POVs from season twenty from when he won to invite. It. Um I think I have some really old Lansky POVs. I'm not sure if the maps still work though, so I don't think it's worth watching. I'll see what else I can find here. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Da, 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 da. I have more Yomps POVs. Do more Yomps? Okay. Hmm, alright, alright. On this season 24, I need to ask him to put up more 25 demos for me. Uh, let me figure out what to watch here. I watched Sunshine. Oh, 
I don't know what map this is. Yom's yeah, Rewind versus 7. I don't have uh, his Rewind POVs, unfortunately. Morning Tracker. Oh god, I'm so fucking hungry. Dude. I need to fix uh I need to fix it so my mods can change the title. That's okay though, whatever. Fuck it. Alright. So I just downloaded this POV. I have no idea what maps it is. Yomps, POV, C24, Grand Finals. I don't know what map. If I had, if I had rewind POVs, I would watch them. Fortunately, this is like a. It's a good idea to save people's POVs if they upload them, because they just disappear. Like the links die, and you'll just never find them again. So it's kind of sad. Oh, he doesn't have a crosshair because I don't have. Alright, so it's Snake Water, Grand Finals. What do we want here? We want, do we want, we don't want view models, do we? You just want to see the aim and its glory. Alright, let's, let's see it. Beep says, fuck off. Fuck, get me out of that one here. I don't know, I think this is the first best of three of season 24 Grand Finals. So we have Corsa, Yomps, Rando, Garbuglio, and Cookie Drake on blue. And we have Froyotek on red with Banny on pocket, Eric Free State, Blaze, Habib, and Nursey. Nursey is the matter. So he commits for Habib, gets him, and lives. He's gonna go deeper to try to catch Nursey. Doesn't have a lot of health, but they don't know he's behind, they do. Okay, they spotted him. Yeah, Banny's wise on the shit. Definitely would have been worth it to wait for health, because now if Froyo gets their spawns in time, they can fight. But, per or Rando kills Banny, so now they can't refight. That's good. He's on Sniper. No, he doesn't want to snipe. They want to sack. They're sacking right now. That's why he doesn't get a sniper because somebody sacked. Why is why is his name like that? That's weird. The demo is like kind of broken for some reason. I'm not the tag. I think I think it might have been because they changed their alias for grand finals. No, Rando. We watched the. Uh, we watched, uh, we watched, uh, what's it called? The Ops' POVs from the same series yesterday, and Cookie Jake was Wee Dong, and Rando was Long Dong Silver. Yeah, it's a different version of Snake. I think it's U14 or U13, I don't know. He swats the guy lower, He's that's good damage. Mm, doesn't push it. I think it's because they changed their name during the grand final. Um, that it's broken though. Just, just on this map. The next maps, they're like normal. Well, whatever. We're watching the Yomp COV anyway, so his teammates don't really matter as much. It'll just be annoying to tell when Cookie Jake and Rando die. So that should be. Course on sniper right now. Picking left lobby. Purple's watching lower. Yeah, I don't have to hard old right, but oh wow, this guy got three on a Panatsu. They just keep his call, but purple. Free state actually just two shot yomps. Hate to see it. Corsa just uh Chiradied and meleeed Banny with the the sword, the fucking kukri, or whatever, the fucking bushwhacker. Jesus. 
That's five ping versus whatever man he has. The Machina is unmanned to you. Alright, nice pistol tracking. This guy's weak. Oh. Nice. You get enough damage that, like, this teammate's gonna get easy kills. Another trap. Down two. Froyo's down three, actually. They should just flood. Someone's already in, driving to the point. Nobody's worried about the point, so they're just capping. Rano got the four space. Rano and Yops got the four basically, and a lot of cap time. Whatever Cookie Jakes you were at, 81. Okay, so they'll be able to get this round easy. There's so much cap time. the easy kill on Banning because Banning was hurt before the push. Damn. He wanted to beep there because if he killed a beep then it would have guaranteed it. Damn, they lost that even with all that cap time. Uh, was Corsa clutch? Oh, beast! Corsa... Okay, Bonassi... Does Bonassi clutch? Bonassi killed Eric and traded for it. Nursi was willing to kill Bonassi. So I'm assuming Nursi might have gotten a saw or... An arrow, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter right now. They want to refight, so it probably was an arrow. Nice, they got the fourth. Yeah, it was a saw. Okay, Nursey got you really quickly there. Nasi killed himself. I'm not sure. Alright. This map was not casted? Really? I didn't know that. He has really good aim. His aim in some of the other demos was just absolutely unreal. Well, this might be, uh, unless Corsa uploaded his POV of this, this might be one of the first times that this map gets to be seen then. Snakewater is kind of like EVL's best map. As well, their scouts really are really good at it, and our soldiers are decent at it too. They're just all really good at it. Wow, but not. Our Habib is so hurt there. Of course, it's on Sniper, that's why I'm with the Uber. Habib managed to come back in. Barely surviving. A lot of damage, nice. Did enough damage so that Blaze could die. He's not getting kills, but he is getting. He is like guaranteeing a lot of kills just from his damage. Of course, is clowning around on Scout right now. Good damage on Habib. Nice, Habib does. Of course it does. It's okay, of course they didn't want to be on Sniper anyway at this point. Nice, pipe by Bonanti. Now... Blaze has to get Nursey out. Now won't be able to kill Nursey while Blaze is there. Um, there were three grand finals that went super late. Season 21, season 22, and this one. Now let's play Soldier in the upper bracket. So, after thinking of season 21 grand finals. Why did they go on for so long? Because uh, teams basically were like, oh damn, I got rolled. Teams are basically like, I don't know, if you have the momentum after winning the first best of three, the second, like the team that won will want to continue playing. So they'll refight second now. Manny's gonna die. Not having Banny on Scout is just really bad for this Froyo. It's the last time Banny played Pocket, he had Clockwork on Scout at least. 
Good clean up. Alright, I, I got a roll too. He doesn't get credit for the kill there, but... 9 HP kill is sick enough. Yeah, that's how Kamala is kind of good. And he's going back. Yeah, okay, he wants to snipe or spy. What class is this? A sniper, okay. Yeah, up top. I can see up top. Oh, uh, okay. Free State kills Badonsky. So this is kind of good. Because Froyo will try to get in without using, and Yalf is on Sniper, so he can actually just drop them in. Where did my sound go? It's just really quiet all of a sudden. Why did him going Sniper just make my sound, like, die? Okay, nice headshot. Yeah, nice. He knew that, uh, Blaze died of purple after the headshot. This is a meme spot, oh my god. Uh, he does. Good try. The sniper, uh, maybe it did, but it was so low. Let's see. Back to mid. It looks like even Ubers if they're playing like this. Wants his buff. I'm clearing lower, making sure nobody got behind. Uh, I disagree. Let's go. People like realized how strong Scout was when Ruin and Clockwork were giving like 350 DPM performances and dropping 40 kills around like that time. Scout Scout was always considered strong. It's just Soldier wasn't as weak and Demo wasn't as weak. Was Pocket Pistol ever on ban? Yeah. Uh. No, maybe? I don't remember. I feel like it was unbanned. I don't- I remember it was- I remember it was like... Ran at one point. Or just a couple points. I think it- I think it was allowed in like Pug Champ. I don't remember. Who knows. Yeah, Ruin was kind of good at on Combo Scout. Just one body shot is all he needs. Really, then he can take a second shot. Damn! I don't think he was even aiming for that soldier. I think he like accidentally hit him. It looked like he wanted to kill the scout. Does Rune stream now? Maybe. I think he does actually. Every now and then. Doesn't get the same viewer count, but what can you do? Fighting mid. No leaving mid. Yomps has an opportunity to flank. Nope. Oh. Uh, I don't think that's... Squid. I think... Squid's alias starts with like a J. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's, he has like a... Something like that. I don't remember what his alias was. Squid stream used to be super fun to watch though. Put a piece on the cleanup there. 
and dies to a bee randomly across the map. Feels bad, man. Yeah, Jolson, that's Squid's alias, I think. Not having as strong as a performance as he does later in the series. Kind of like ramps up. I might just like make get a bowl of cereal all this plays, honestly. I'm starving right now. Beast. Blaze just got sent to the sad zone. Just me shots that guy casually. It's okay. Now he plays sniper. This is a really long demo. Actually. Kind of cereal, uh, honey bunches of oats. That's all I got right now. Don't scout. Okay. I'm just wary of them trying to rush purple shirt, it looks like. Snake water actually kind of has like a nice forward hold. Okay, they just walk. All of EVLs and spawn, and Froyo just wins easily. Why were they it's like all six in spawn? That was really weird. I do like me some cinnamon toast crunch. It's not good, but. That guy's fucked. Interesting that he actually shoots the soldiers on mids because when we watch the season 25 grand final demo, he doesn't. He just ignores soldiers and runs forward. Oh, the server is lagging a shit ton. What is happening? They paused. Uh, th this is like the SDV down one too. Jesus. Yeah, this is a really long demo. Fuck. I could joke and nurse on mods. Where's your mod? Dude, I have so many mods, but I'll do it, I guess, because it's you and I love you. Even though you didn't ask me to play for your team and didn't even give me a tryout. And I'm just, I have a big heart, like that. There you go. Oh shit, oh my. And he lagged out. Shunix internet not that stable, question mark. <laughs> Do you mind doing some demo reviews later off stream? Uh, I could. Or depends what time you want to. Yeah, this is when you went to Shinix for Dax for 20 less ping. There goes Banny. Our mumble is full, Banny can't rejoin lol. Damn. Oh Jesus. That was too quick. Like. I'm just getting through the stalemate really quickly here. I don't know, remember what happened. Okay, so Nursey died at mid. Cookie Jake's alive. They have a little bit of ad right now. So whatever Cookie Jake Uber is, it's probably like a plus 20. So they have like a, I don't know. It's like a 20, 30 ad. Probably not enough to push off. Well, Let me pour this bowl cereal real quick, it's gonna take like a second, so you guys can just watch the demo without commentary. Let me know if he does anything crazy.
All right, I'm back. Oh, what's going on? All right, so team fight looks like Cookie Jake just got forced by Blaze. They all dropped too low, so. This isn't completely good for Freya. We put a lot of damage on her. Wow! Free State don't! Jesus! Free State lost a fight he shouldn't have lost there. And now Freya can't fight mid because of it. He put so much damage onto. He put so much damage on a Nursey dude there. And he just rolls Free State casually. Fuck, I don't want. I don't want to use you guys. Hear me crunching when I take bites. I'm gonna mute my mic. Easy kill on Blazler. Now he threatens a back app, no roamer. Once spawner, he knows. Man, he's too good. The confidence. The, control point is being captured. the confidence of the Corsa Yom Scout duo, and they back after you. The game in back. They do it all! They do it all! The Scout combo! I don't know if my mic's unmuted, so if you can hear this, let me know in chat, and I'm gonna unmute it again.
Looks like they pause right now. I bet Shunik is almost crying right now. <laughs> I think that's Rando. I don't know, Rando or Cookie, one of the two. Clutch there really hard with that damage. Just Yams is just in position to win that fight. Stop the back up. Nice pick on a Habib though earlier, so they can get in cleanly. Damn, Banny with the shutdown on the sniper. Not a high impact trade for Banny though. Banny's life is worth more than a sniper at that point, so Yomps takes that trade because he wouldn't have been wanted to have been on sniper for a last push. Scouts are still sick, dude. Yomps is just a scout main though, and he uh, he needs to. We need to get him back on his class, but. Nice to not by Eric. Nurse he actually had a chance to live just because of that, but of course uh of course in purple I think caught on her. Someone airshot like the shadow plays on my mid two, I think. Or Banny one will do. Alright, so I'm pretty much like done my cereal. Um small bowl, but I didn't I didn't get a lot of cereal. I don't like having too much cereal in a bowl because I don't know, I get like tired after of cereal after like a few bites, honestly. Beast here's the call on Habib. He yells really fast to move here. <laughs> Yams is a pubber, an MVMer. Um, I got honey bunches of oats. Rocket jumper soldier. I don't know. Yom is a troll. Free seat stuff. Delpo played a lot of high tower as well, but Yom is a high tower and MVM pubber. And then a TF2 center flyer, I think, before he uh, went into IM. He was just really good, and people noticed early. Sniper. 
Yeah, I can't believe I've known y'all since he was 14. It feels like... I don't know what it feels like. I'm just old. Fuck. Whatever. This is three years ago. I think Yelps is like 17 here. How old am I? I'm 23, unfortunately. He really wants that shot. He has a lot of space. Well. Shutter peak. Oh fuck. Goes for it twice. I started playing TFT when I was 15 or 14. 15, I think. Damn, we got a. Uh, so they're stuffing. Uh, they're hard stuffing. Fredo probably wants to work a sack and off the scout being down. So, you know, just easier to bomb when there's less of a scout, but it's also. But they can still hold the door as easy because they have all their spam for EVL, so it doesn't really matter. So there's a gun. They probably want to find the gun first before they do anything, but Purple's on Cow Mangler. Exchange. They took a random exchange. He dies to a trap. Okay, he should definitely have not have done that, like, really, ever. Demo alive, don't fake the door. It's kind of simple. I think he thought he could have, like, lived, but Habib just had his eyes on his trap. Started comp in late 2017, late to the yeah. I started a uh, comp in 2012 or 2013, I think. My first season of my first couple seasons of Open were like 2013, 2014, I think. The season 15, 16 is when I first played. I think it was a while, but all like the big names were still playing at the time. Alright, so you also back up. They're really struggling to break this last hole, but I think they have the round lead. Or it might be tied 1 1, I can't remember. Your first season of comp was the last season of ESEA. Oh my god. Damn, nice. Corsa recognizes the isolated energy he gets his skulls. Corsa is really good at. Finding the players that can't kill him. Off is dancing, picks the scout, actually gives him a chance to win. The moment he killed that scout, he won the fight. Because the scout was the only class that could actually kill him. Damn, he actually dominated that last little bit there. Quick taunt, up 3-1, I already did that demo UI open, what am I doing? Remember, the next time, the next time you up streams, you guys have to remind him that he's a scout man and not a soldier player, because he's never been a soldier player. Okay, he's, he's kind of not that soldier too, but, you know, like... Yom's pocket is perfect. Yom's pocket is fun. Wasn't right. he picked up to deny him as a scout for a hit stunt? Um, he quit a scent. Okay, Froyo had been trying to get Yom's for about three seasons. Um. Basically, they, they really wanted to pick him up on Scout. Like, they wanted him to replace Free State. Uh, they wanted him to replace Bot Mode. They wanted him to replace Patty as well. Like, like three different times, they 
tried to pick him up. He was offered the spot, but he never said yes. And then, and then uh, Rando quit Ascent, and then Yomps didn't want to play on Ascent anymore because basically Rando is like his boy, so. So he asked uh, Banny to, if he could play for Freo and for Land for Rewind 2, basically. And yes, I got caught because of that. Is this Yomps UV? Yeah, this is Yomps UV. Hunter ping little bitch. But yeah, so Freya, Freya had been trying to pick up Yomps for some time. I don't think they imagined that he would ever be their pocket, but he was definitely capable- Oh, don't free state, Jesus. How many times has free state gone and rolled? I mean, fat 100 on Blaze too. It's definitely an opportunity to do more than single mad sack after he killed free state. Felt like the rest of EVL was not ready to help him lobby, but I guess he just wanted to go die and snipe. I drink the cereal milk. I don't know if Stanley wins like 75% of one launch. Um, the way he puts it is that he puts himself in situations where he has to either hit his shots or die. It's kind of a Chad play style, but you know. He's also just really talented, apparently, so whatever. He's just, he's just gonna flex on beef. His sniper isn't as. As sick as uh, some players though, but he's, he's also very confident. He's also very, very confident. They're not even trying to like pressure bomb window. And they just spam it. They need to leave. Like, oh, yeah. All non pocket means play pocket or for you. Carbulio side, you know. Aims third on Rimmer, I think. The aims just old remain through and through. Yes, Banny counts too. Banny was uh, Banny still, you know. In my mind, Banny still a demo main, even though he's played way more scout at this point. Salms so is just waiting for a pick here. Uh, he's not getting anything done on sniper. You should just probably peak lower, I feel like, at this point, but slowly saw six are clear. They know he's watching it. Kind of boring stalemate. Freo, interestingly, not like wanting the pressure despite having a kill and having Yelps on Sniper. And they're down rounds, so... I feel like the ball is in Froyo's court to actually be more active than EBL. Like, obviously, don't let the time make you panic because there's plenty of time. It's just definitely like you can definitely be more liberal in how you play here. 
EVL, EVL is winning 3-1 right now. And they're content to let... Uh... So Freo, Freo's actually really not doing anything. I think EVL is like fine with this situation right now. They're up rounds, they have the lead. And Freo just makes it worse. It's it's only a two round lead though. A two round lead is like almost nothing. Oh. Found the trap. They're calling spot. I wonder if there's a spot or if they're just being careful. Check your Twitters. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. I don't even know, like, if that's, like, harsh or not. Like, I'm not sure. I do know it gets a little more heated later. Damn, this is boring as fuck. I'm about to just fucking start speeding through this bitch. How long does this go on for? Oh my god, come on! Whee! He's. <laughs> Bruh, there's no way you're on site for this long and you don't do anything. They're actually. They're actually just seven. <laughs> okay, he's finally dead. <laughs> he went for it. They tried peeking lower there, I guess, for a sec. Just uh, didn't work out. Now we're back. Uh... Now he's back on scout. Three minutes on the round timer. They're down to scout, so purple can sack. Which is what they should probably work like. Try to fake a drive push lower, but. Now EVL is just content to force Froyo to do something. So that... Oh, they have a banner! Rhino's on banner. Oh, he's on conch. Okay. Well, ETA on banner, and we'll, uh, we'll see what's going cool. Let's just speed this up a little. Let's leave it at like. Okay, purple dies. Alright, now Blaze is being active because they've killed like seven minutes off this like point alone out of the 30 minutes with their round lead, so. Pressure's up. Froyo Peak Saw, the only place where Bonanti is hard holding. Here comes the exchange. It looks like Randall took the exchange. Is he gonna conch in the post? So this could be interesting here. Randall's caught in, Randall's dead, so the exchange did not work out for him. Um, will they push off Rando being dead? Yeah, they are. Okay. So Scout's in mid. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in the back app here. There's no Ubers in play. He recognizes that everybody's probably in front. Starts the back half. They lose two though, so this is bad. One goes back. He lost. Okay, yeah, Banny just hit the perfect rocket to shut him down. Alert. The control point is being captured. Unfortunate, really. So that's the end of that uh that eight minute long sailmate. I did not know that happened. I would have skipped through that instantly. But uh, eight minutes of uh, that. So now Froyo is just drive pushing aggressively. They Uber in. They get the force out. Nice. He catches a bead. That pistol there really helped at the end. Kind of beefing his shots, but nice movement there to stay alive a little. I've seen a lot of worse tailmates. I've seen like so many round resets. Especially when like mix up played, I feel like. Mix up on Badlands or like Snake Water, they just love running the time down. Oh, so somebody just died. Oh god, I can't get it to 100. Um, there we go. Free State just died. Tell Skook to leave him. 
perfect timing on wow. Maybe he misses that for the first time in his life. Thank god the STV is down. People would have been so hyped though. Like if the STV was up and Froyo was down three round like three to one. Everybody would have been hyped. Like even if you were watching an eight minute stalemate, you would have been hyped as fuck. Alright, Blaze dies. Nice little cleanup. Horses plowing. Horses and the other team shows weakness. Corsa just decides that he's the Chad now. Blaze gets rolled, so Blaze can't really contribute. But the other team Ubers, so they failed the last push. The question is, Cookie Jake died, All right? That was, uh, that was the only question if Cookie Jake could get out or not. So now he knows he has to salvage. And how creative will he be about this? I actually like the way he strafes like that. It's interesting. Uh, he didn't. They got Nursi. He he distracted enough for someone else to kill Nursi. One of the soldiers, maybe both of them. Down to no heals. They'll want to push this. Yeah, that's in. Forces through, clearing lower. Waiting for heals. Saying saw, checking cheese. Nobody can push back, and they have add. Slight add, not huge. So they're gonna let it even out. It's really they're in a position where they don't have to do a lot. So I'm gonna let it go at like 150-ish, 200. He just sits here. Yeah, they don't. They don't want to do anything. I'm sort of an ad. Yeah, they don't want to do anything. Fucking. He gets sniped. Uh, I guess he wanted to pressure lobby when there was a sniper. A minute off up. Damn, this demo's kind of a lot more boring than I thought it'd be. He's on sniper now. So, I hope his sniper is a little more warm than it was last time. This is why the Viaduct the Ops demo was really fun to watch, because he was actually doing shit. Maybe. Maybe if Jay's here, he'll give us a POV. Jay streams all the time, so there's probably no point. I wonder if Jay records his demos from last season. Oh, Jay, actually, yeah, Jay makes Friday videos. He records all his demos. Jay, throw me a, throw me a demo. Otherwise, we're we're gonna be watching Rando. I'll I'll force everybody to watch Rando, season 20 Rando. So I've never seen these demos, and I have two of them, I think. <laughs> Watch Rando. That might be fun, actually, but... Oh, damn. Spooky Sentry. He, he'll definitely be more inter He'll definitely be interesting. Free State Deep Peaks. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Where are the Zilly Roamer tapes? Hopefully, gone, and nobody ever sees the light of day where I can't fucking rocket jump. Can I help you set up the audio for the stream? I fucked with it earlier because someone told me the end game was too loud, and I. Okay, so what? What is? What is too quiet, or what is like bad right now? Cause I, I, I like fucked with it like a lot and I don't really know what the original settings were. There's hella stat- okay yeah well, I don't really know how to get rid of that. 
Just uh, say whatever you think might help, and I'll try it after. The mic, there is one setting. Is it the echo shit? I have no idea, whatever. Just tell me what the setting is. Ah, nobody's pressuring close or spamming, so that's how it lives. It's good enough to get the force there. Audios, filters, noise suppression. That's on OBS, yeah? Okay, I'll, I'll check that out. Minus 40 decibels. On the mic? I've heard I've had people tell me the mic is too quiet when I don't have it turned up. I'll, I'll check it out after. After this demo. I'll put it in the random demo too. Wow. Wow, they just all fucking walk through that. And Puppy literally could have had one of the greatest deaths of all time. Unless they didn't walk through that in my Ooh, let's go. Later Banny. Finally, we see him pop off and stuff. So it's 4 1 right now. So Freya wins this next round. You really don't see Freya struggle this much. Uh, little ground mid. He wants his buff. So her nice. Helps out purple for the kitchen. Doesn't look like purple did any point of damage, so whatever. Kills a beeb, he's on the chase. Oh my Chad, he gets the force. Actual Chad. Oh, Cookie J got force too. Oh, Horse almost beef uh Freeze they could have killed Cookie there. This pistol was sick there for our for Corsa. He's back on sniper. Why is he on sniper? I don't know. Do they, do they lose the round because of it? Probably. I see it. I just really want to slow it down, but now Freo is realizing time is against them and they can't afford to sit back, so they actually just drive push while Ubers are not. Well, I guess they're Ubers, but yeah, they're just drive pushing. EVL holds it pretty well, so something must go wrong here. Interesting trap from Madonsky. On the corner edge. Might be secret tech for any demo mains. I don't know how well it works, but Madonsky thinks it works, so. I take an exchange. Rano looks like he's feeding. Rano dies. Rano definitely fed. That's bad because there's no Ubers in play. If Rano had died while well, EVL had Ubers, Uber it would have been okay, but there was no reason for him to go in. I think he wanted to try to catch Nursey at the end of the Uber. But not really like good because it's harder, it's just hard to hold now. I'm caught a bad rocket there. He's dead because of it. No, he's alive. What? Damn. 
I thought he was like instantly dead, but Froyo decided to stack the point instead of chase. But they lose purple and Corsa. But honestly too, okay, yeah. So I'm thinking Cookie J gets forced here on last easily. Yeah, they're really fast then. Cookie J might not even get Uber. Yeah, he doesn't. Wow. They're so fast. That's like the aggression that Froyo kind of lacked. They should have done that last round, but they just let the 10 minute stalemate happen. Now... But EBL has still been dominating the game, either way. Really, kind of interesting how like that all happened because of one soldier pick of, off of Rano just feeding. And saw they were able to just roll that entire round off of one pick from like a disadvantageous position. Beast on the scout. His aim definitely isn't as good as it is later on in the series. It's like noticeable. But he's owning again, so. Those scouts are close, so her. Wow, the scout is so hurt, nice. Of course it's on them already, so yeah. Nice, that guy's gonna die. Yeah, that kill is important right now. Nice, okay. He does. He's done so much damage to all these players. He hasn't been getting kills. That Habib pick from Cookie Jake is so crucial. Cookie Jake, or Habib like, be dying there is so bad for Freya. Now now they can take lobby. There's no fear of traps. The only thing he has to watch out is for soldiers. Narek was so weak that the pick didn't matter, but as a sniper. Are they opting to not take the Uber? Wow, they're actually playing like seven. The time must be really low for Froyo. I didn't I have to check at the beginning of the round actually to see how much time was left. Seven minutes. And they're often they just give up their Uber ad. So seven minutes at the start of the round, I'd say like two minutes since the mid fight. So there should be like five minutes left with a two round lead. This is like good a good decision to sit on it, actually. Froyo needs to basically make like every play work in a match where they've basically been on the back foot. Well, Girardi play. Girardi throw. Good pressure on lobby. Corsa dying there is the opening that they need, but they get the trade, so it doesn't matter as much. Fanny's still caught in there. No buff, getting arrowed. Blaze manages to get the force. This is a good time to throw in a back app. There's cheese. Yeah, Cookie's gonna get out. Yeah, there's the back app. And he gets the force either way, and they just lose. Yeah, Froyo had no choice to just risk, but risk that. I'm surprised they went four through cheese though. I think they should have realized that uh that Uber was gonna result like that. Oops, I didn't need that. Okay, so OBS. Audio. Where the fuck is this shit? Audio filters. I don't have anything here. Noise suppression, okay, I found it. Minus 40 decibels. That's already at minus 30. Whatever. There you go. I added the. Yeah, I made it. Alright. Um. Bleh. What are we gonna watch? Rando? What just happened to my Twitch chat though? Um, Jesus. My phone's all funky right now. Let me reopen this app. Uh, okay, well, let's watch Rando next, I guess. Then I'll call it. So.
I've had these demos saved since 2016 and I've never seen them ever in my life. So let's unzip them. Alright. I don't know if anybody just typed in chat. My chat just refreshed, so I didn't see whatever. Oh, I have four. I have four. Yubbies here. Dun dun dun. Yeah, sure, dude. Just, uh, here. I think you added me. I'll accept real quick. No, let's see. What class do you play anyway? I'm just curious. Uh, Alright, I got Granary, Gully, and Process. I think Process is actually the map they lose. Pro Rano Process could be interesting. Hmm. What do we want to see? Gra Rando on process, Gully, or Granary? Anybody in chat? Just let me know. Rando process? Okay, yeah, I figured as well, actually. Gully, if not process. <laughs> uh, this is an hour long one. Mm. Yeah, this. All right, this will be the last one. But uh, so we have a uh, scent with Rando Pocket, Mela Roamer, Shrugger, Yomp Scout, 404 Medic, and Vodonsky demo against Clockworks and Ash on Scout, Banny and Blaze Soldier, Shade Medic, and Dewana demo. Okay, the map is just fucking broken because of how old the demo is, but that's okay. Shit ton of damage, killed the Watna. Yomps is on the chase, fragging as he does. Shrugger's chasing with... Uh, no, he got back, Shrugger went to chase. Yomps is uh, Shrugger's cat bitch in this era. Damn, this this map is just broken. Whatever, we'll have to put up with it. Some of the doors are fucked. This is a 2015 demo. Late 2015. Like, I don't remember. Maybe September ish. I don't remember the date on it. I'll have to look at it after. The file. Okay. So here's the Ash kill. Kind of crazy how, like, Ash is one of the few players still playing. Beef his rockets, hit a 50 damage me shot, but the force comes out anyway, and they win the round. Off the cap, Tom. The Wanda had to dead his stickies to kill Rando, so he had nothing on point. Which is just like a happy accident, I guess. But it works out in his favor. He didn't have to do much, because the round was pretty much won. His mid was actually pretty good. Rando likes to, uh, Rando likes to just do damage a lot. like. The kills don't really matter too much. Damage is just impact for him. Pretty good damage too. Froyo is really passive on the mid. There's like four people in choke. Bla he gets the trade with Blaze too. This is a this is a no scout speed meta by the way. Stickies are nerfed, but no scout speed. But the Nazi's farming the fuck out of them. Shade drops everybody. Shade just drops two full health players. But Nazi, and then they got the force, so now they should like the full ad. Yeah, they have full ad. Alright. Rano's a pretty nice pocket to play with, too, because he gives you decent instruction. I, I enjoyed playing with Rando. Okay, so, Clockwork 
kills with Auntie, that's really saving Razor Froyo. Dewana misses the debt, that could just... Okay, he, he hits the debt pretty late, but yeah, they can't hold... They, they won the boss anyway. I think he was just focused on Sticky's own point. Really fat damage out of him. Beat the shotgun, but... Not enough to fight off, they don't have to spawn, so he just does. Uh, Shrugger, or Shrugger went for Shade, or Shade is out now. If he had been able to kill that scout, then I think the respawns would have been good enough to fight. He's also a little late with the rockets as they're like coming out of rollout, but that's fine. I was unlucky. Good damage on low. Shades hurt. No scale speed, so he, he just has to use, he can't cut. Big exchange here. Random wants a Uber on him. Targets the scout, doesn't have Uber. Kills Clockwork. Has a shotgun, can easily deny Banny. Ash comes from behind for the salvage, but he gets Ash too, nice. Basically, he just played from a position where he was unkillable and could kill everyone else. Really nice bomb on a shade, two rockets him. Adds a little extra damage. He has nothing loaded, he's just completely out of ammo right now. In the sewer. He's actually playing really well right now. Damn. He had nothing loaded. If he had the second rock loaded, he would have killed Clockwork. Alright, so. Rando used to be really good. You, A lot of people missed out, like, on the time when Rando was really good and, like, played the game. Like, most of his, like, later seasons, he literally just played five hours over two weeks, which is, like, nothing. Like, this is also, uh, this is also, like, where Shotgun Pocket is viable. At this point, like, Gun Boots is pretty popular, though. Like, every pocket other than... I'd say Rando, Rando TLR are running, like, well, TLR stopped playing around here, but, like, most pockets were still, like, running, or some pockets are still running shotgun, but Gunbus is pretty popular. Alright, so they have Ad, it looks like, he's jumping to pressure, counter jumps, he doesn't want to feed for it, someone else went for the forces, the offs it looked like. Or he might have been going for a plank play. He recognized he couldn't die there. Nice arrow from Brad. Yeah, Rando... Basically, like... Yeah, he, he didn't play the game a lot after a while, but... Is this the process? It's a different game. You're thinking of uh, the 20B, not 20B, the TSU lower bracket final game. This is upper bracket final. Season 20 upper bracket final. Final map. I think he, I think he was like just playing as like a hobby to like chill with his friends. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd say he did. Okay, so there's a sniper. You just saw the dot. Then 404's playing here because he knows the sniper. Unfortunately, we can't see the sniper from his POV because the map is just so old and like the version is so different that uh, the demo doesn't work and let us look into lobby. It would be really nice, but now that he has to take an exchange on the point. Shade insta pops on Banny, which is fair because there's a heavy. He gets the sniper, so the sniper turret is gone. Press the counter jump. Banny isn't able to follow up on him, so he lives. Gets a resub, doesn't have the resub on. Really good. She should have shot Banny to begin with, I'd say, but he did good damage. Like, oh my god, what am I seeing? Oh. What team did Bernasi play on before Ascent? Um, it was a team with Milo. I forgot his team name. Solus Esports? Elevate is Ascent. He, it was like called Solus Esports, I think. He played Scout. I think it was Solus. It might not have been. It might have been someone else, but... Yeah, but also he was a scout, man. He played on Ascent with uh, Lost in Translation with Melo and Alpha in Season 15. 
Yeah, season 15-ish. Um, and then he's just basically been on that same roster for the next 15 or however long he played. So yeah, he, he's played with metal a lot. Alright, so... I have no idea what's happening now. I don't know who is ad or who doesn't because of the lobby shit. Okay, they have ad. Probably always ad. See, this is like a... Wow, nice surfs from him to actually stay alive there. And he died at the end. That's to spam. He died to spam for the sentry. That's so sad. Oh. And he was around. That was really, like, really chat of him to get a lot of damage on the choke point. Like before the uber delay it a little and then live all the way up there and then he just dies at the very end if he had if he had been like able to get resupply a little bit earlier then maybe he could have helped that he took too much damage though in the doorway it just it probably wasn't worth it because of the damage he did good spam on Shade and Duana. Mela has Mela bombs in. There's Blaze counter jumping. Blaze specialty. He's gonna crater. Unfortunate. <laughs> he gets a trade with Clockwork. Oh, well, it's 3v3. Exchange City. Nazi does his trap, doesn't get anything for it. Looks like he hurt that scout though. That's Trippy Ash with the Uber. I wouldn't really be as confident with the uh, with Ash over Clockwork, honestly, but the Uber, that's probably why Freyo decided to cancel. Trugger finds a pick on Blaze, so now they can take the fight. They wanna go see where to take the fight. It's a good call. There's one less player to bomb them. Starts walking. He's gonna jump point because he also sees them all together. Yeah, good splash. He saw them all clumped up and he knew he could get like a damage. 4-4 used a little early. I don't know who took damage, it wasn't either of them. Nice. Oh wow, he recognized when Ebro was fading. Must have been used he must have been watching that in DX9. Because you can see when the Uber's fading in DX9. Yeah, this is a rando. This is a rando demo. That was a really good pick on Shade. Yeah, I think Clock was with the combo. I think, um, I, I'm pretty sure he was probably playing in DX9 because you can't see when the Ubers are like fading or like the, like the flashing on DX8 when it's like just barely fading, so. I think Ash played Flank Scout on uh, this Froyo. I'm not sure. Because Clockwork, I'm pretty sure Clockwork took Ubers. Hawkwork did roam around a little though as well, but he's a dynamic player like that. So he's just offing for the spam again while I think Melo might initiate again. He gets jumped. Nobody wants to commit for him because he has teammates near him. He jumps. He and Melo coordinate that at the same time. They both go together. He forces out the Watna and Clockwork in a choke, so Ascent has a lot of room. Yomps gets his kill, goes into IT. This is a young Yomps, by the way. I think Yomps is like 15 here, 16. Jeez, uh, he loses the clockwork. Feels bad, man. <laughs> this is... Yeah. Uh, that'll happen. Did Ash play combo, really? That's interesting. I'm not sure why Vanny wouldn't have just wanted to play with himself on scout and Ash on pocket, but whatever. I think the team probably would have maybe had a chance of living past that then. They have so much cap time. He focuses the heavy. Damn. Damn. That was such a close cap. I think the play for him would have been to go up top and then shoot down at anybody trying to go to the point rather than fight from where he was because he wasn't like in a position to take anyone's attention since he was so close to the point that he's just going to be shot at anyway at the same time 
Alright, he's trying to get the spam early. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Dewana had a really nice sticky there, actually. I didn't think it would have been Dewana he died to, but he definitely looked like he was dead. Nice, Melo had a really fat bomb to catch. Wait, Shrugger? Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. Melo had, had a really nice bomb to catch Shade and keep him in. No scout speed medic is, like, so disastrous. <laughs> it's so disastrous if, like, a soldier gets close to you. But it also, like, allowed medics, I feel like, to show off more. A little more mechanical skill was, like, involved, so... That's not... Just because, like, it's easier for a soldier to kill you doesn't mean it's the end of it for you. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. He, they're not paused. He's building Uber? Is he escape plan building? Yeah, he's escape plan building. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Now you just need to know, sir. Yeah, I mean, you still need to know, sir. Just less important now, apparently. Take lobby. They're, they have ad here. They're confident in the ad. He leads the Uber. Oh, damn! He catches Shade. He actually. For that was a nice surf by Shade. Shade died though. Mela, that was a. He caught Shade there with that jump. Like, like he put Shade in a position where Shade was likely to die. But that was a really nice surf by Shade too. Mela just came in from the flank and got him. Surprised he wanted to lead that Uber. They, I guess demo bombs weren't as popular. At this point, like, Pocket is still a nice Uber player. The, with, a, with like, uh, teams that have, like, Banny on Pocket, Rano on Pocket are still gonna enjoy taking soldiers on Ubers. Free damage on the Banny. 4v5. Lots of spam. Lots of damage from the spam. Shrugger and kills Blaze. Really nice spawn on the clock to get him. He dies. Damn, he needed an arrow. That's okay though. Shrugger chads on Dawana. That was nice. He was basically able to stand up there for free without being shot at, so... Neither scout could really pressure him, he had a lot of HP. Honestly, it was up to Banny and Dewatna to pressure him, but Banny decided to, like, jump in but not full commit. I think Banny decided his life was worth more, which led to them losing, because there was no room for the scouts to get in cleanly. Has Rano played other classes aside from Soldier? Uh, Rano beat, beat Froyo Tech in a match on scout once, but... That's about it. <laughs> Alright, this is a really long demo still, so I think both halves go to like full time, so this is probably gonna be a little bit exhausting to watch. Probably a lot of stalemates. I might speed up here a little bit. Yeah, a little stalemate here. Even Ubers, I'm assuming. Looks like someone's on Cypher. It's a scout. I'd like to say it's Shrugger. It is Shrugger. Confirmed. Shrugger did like to snipe a lot. He was very good at it. <laughs> Wants to peek one door. Is there a trap above it? We won't ever find out because neither of these two looked up to find out. But we can safely assume there isn't. Unless the water just is holding a trap over one to mind game the fuck out of them. He's speaking one again with no support. Wow, they're so passive while their sniper solo peaks. That's very different. Okay, now he decides to come over to help him. The demo would be really nice to hold here, and wow, he did so much damage. Nuwana shuts down Shrugger. Blaze wants to go lower, dies to the Nazi trap. Really isn't like a lot of coordination on getting things done between both teams. It's kind of just like, good luck with your solo play. I hope you, I hope you win.
But it's also like minimal risk, so... They're in like a... Pretty sure they're winning right now. I forgot how, by how much. I guess I can just try. I'll speed it up a little bit. Let's just see if we can get through this. Shrugger does. I need bonds for this. I like to speed up. Okay, nice. They got effect. So let's see what happens here. Killed Banny. They baited out the Banny pick. They lose Mela. At least Shrugger. They'll want to leave now. Yeah. I know she get on height. He's not close to the doorways. Which is fine. Sniper lower. Denies him. He actually gets the kill on Clockwork somehow. Just with shooting three rockets in the same spot. Three rockets. Zero. Two rockets. Gets the Nuwana pick. Oh, he has a shotgun, right? He has a shotgun. Damn, that was actually really nice, like, really good awareness by him. If I can roll it into lobby to get two kills. Because all the other players that were dead. Because Banny was dead at the time, and Clockwork was dead. I was called two people in lobby. That Nuwana pick should have been big, but it's not anymore. Because they didn't have enough people to push, but Nancy died. Use the gun. Is missing the gun from across the map. The gun is picked up for some reason. The Uber exchange comes out. Alright, now he has to shoot the gun. Trying to hit the NG. They killed Ash because they focus hard on the gun, and Ash is really committed to that gun. Ash shouldn't have picked up that gun in the first place, I don't think. Kind of a mistake on Ash's part, but they hold anyway. So do they want to refight? No, they don't. They're too late. No, they want to retake. They do. What the hell? Even Ubers? Wow, he's tagging both scouts like off in there too. Keep up her. The ops gets run over by Clockwork. This clockwork is now behind an IT, which we can't see because map doesn't want to let us see, but we can assume that's what happened since we're out of shot there. Yeah, he's back. Well, they don't know where he is. We get through. Banny just walks through upper IT with the Brad. And Clockwork comes in with the flank. Losing track of Clockwork is so disastrous. Needs ammo and health since Brad died. The goal here is to see how he can kill Shade or... Yeah, basically the entire... Okay, wow, they're back happening. They failed it. He's going back in anyway. Beef. Wow, if he had hit the rocket, he would have gone in it. That was a nice meat shot, I think, though. Doesn't look like Shade's movement is, like, too good, so he definitely had a chance to kill him there. Especially with a shotgun. Yeah. So, they have this ad. How does how do Ascent want to hold second here? 4 4 is playing like really far back initially, just because. No scout speed, so you pretty much want to leave like the moment the Uber is called to popped, I guess. But. They're gonna get Uber. Probably just taking too long. He's building, he's building because he's a shotgun too. Also rare to see nowadays. Probably lets it even out. It's fair, it's probably like a lot harder to push with add here. Random spam is pretty sick, but bombs a little cringe, yeah. I think uh, bombing without gun boots is kind of going to be a little cringe at times too though. He's definitely good in like some of the DM situations, but he's also very reliant on being kept healthy by his medics. Kind of old meme. Uh, the kill boys. 
kill Clockwork too. That's really a nice last rocket to catch Clockwork with. Two down. Froyo's playing so far back. The water must have dead because they're pretty he's not worried about the trap. Yeah. And now Froyo will give it up for free. Really good damage. They got the Watna actually, Fidanti and Rando spam together, so now he can just walk through choke. The only thing I have to worry about is bombs, but I don't think Froyo will want to bomb here. Yeah, they don't. Benny jumps into IT. They get a better Uber. They lose two people, so they leave, but they uh Benny's trying to keep Rando in. Benny's just a wrecking ball right now. In and out. He's getting so much damage done, actually. That was like... He has one rocket. He has to jump. He should've just... He should've just tried to jump. Benny actually just did so much for Froyo. Jumped and killed the flank. Who main called on this ascent? Um... I don't know, actually. You'd have to ask, uh... I'd like to say Shrugger, Rando... Shrugger, Rando, Mela Combine the main call. That's what I would like to say. I'd, I'd like to say it's the three of them. And I think Brad was probably like... Brad probably just gave like the normal medicoms. Okay, so clock... Clockwork dies on sniper yomps. They just chad push through IT here. They don't they know they don't have to use. Really good spam to catch the water. The water is just getting caught left and right. It's not really being healed. Or not really being prioritized to save, but it's such a that's just like the emphasis of like how much heals Banny is getting. Like Banny and Clockwork are getting prioritized so much. Or Banny Ash. Banny Ash Clockwork. It's just like I don't know. I, I, actually, I don't even say Ash is getting healed a lot either. I think. Yeah, like, mainly just Fanny. But, Dewana definitely. If Dewana stays alive more, they definitely have a lot more success. Like, just. Shutting down Ascent's pushes. Because Ascent is pushing very well right now. There's like a few times I've had to see Rando worry about sticky traps. Nice kill on Nash. He does have, he does have like, he's, he's, he has nice rockets catching these scouts. Scouts that can't, can't, can't get tanked by scout speed. There's always like a hundred damage. Alright, Mela has fat spam. Nice jump for it. Alright. We got another. We're halfway through the demo now. Holy fuck. Wants a sewer push. God, I wish I could see in the sewer. There's Banny. Stuffing the choke. Clockwork is feeding. Big fat Uber exchange. He leads with a jump. This is old pocket. Jumps the sol soldier, gets damage on him. Doesn't get the trade, they lose. Yeah, that was a bad exchange, like from the start. It, it looked that big though. He didn't have the health, and off the clockwork pick, they should have been like looking to sack Mela. But this is still exchange GFT, so. Nowadays, I think exchanging is pretty bad. Like, just because of scout speed, and just because, like, you can get other teams to use Uber without using your own. Do it. He's just walking around. He just bombed into the two scouts. One died. Him and Mela both bombed. Ascent is a Chad team! They just rolled them. Yomps dies. Now it's 3v3. Blaze can't win this. Blaze is out. Nice. They catch Ash. Ash had no idea what was going on. I think, I think the fight was probably called that, um... The fight was probably called like to Ash that like they were fighting in, and it was just a miscommunication because Ash was looking to immediately get out through Sewer after. Trigger kill Shade. They have really big ad now. 
Now, now this is probably where Rano gets to play his best. He wants to go IT. Okay, this is good because it's easier to kill people who are trying to salvage through IT, and their heals aren't going to be there. Looks like they're all out. Nice. Like if you push like choke or something, then it's a little bit more among us, but. They're going in before they have the cap, but doubling a double soldier uber. They catch the demo, but the Tawana gets caught again for like the hundredth time. Double soldier onto the demo. That's kind of crazy to just watch. So Tawana dying basically to the double soldier uber loses the round. And now Ascent has a 3 1 lead. So I wonder how long this halftime is, because this is the last map in a best of three that went three maps, I think. It's definitely satisfying to watch a soldier kind of own b ball there. Alright, he's doing the same, that same little bomb. He likes that right side bomb a lot. Damn. One rocket in the middle of those players would have one mid, but he beefed it. Not one mid, but it would have given his team a better chance to do something, rather. Would have definitely opened a lot more opportunity instead of them just having to leave. More for us to get out, he gets caught. Wow, he stayed a little too long for his team. This will be hard to defend for Scent, because that was a very late medic death too. Props on Blaze, getting the pick and getting out. So right now, about the turtle on last, He's, he wants his buff. Shruggers on sniper, he wants on... no. Who's on Sniper? Mela. Mela is on Sniper. But using... He, now he wants... Okay, Banny tries to catch him here. That Uber chased him for very long, but... It's fine. Froyo can just refight on one side, now that they have to pick advantage. Gun dies. It's over. 4-4 four, four die too, yeah. Pretty smart of Banny. Or pretty sort of Froyo to, after getting their initial kill, to all group up on one side and not challenge the sentry gun on their own. Basically, like when they all decided to take the fight with numbers and have they they own like too much of last basically for ascent to do any real defending. There was only one spot for ascent to defend from, and they couldn't do anything. All right. So he wants to do this mid again. It, it worked in the past. Froyo kind of adjusted last mid. Manny's playing the rock spot. Manny's just playing so passive for Soldier, just spamming him from that rock. But if he's getting damage, then it doesn't matter. So Clockwork kills the Ops. Wow, okay, nice. He should have just died to that scout. Why the fuck did that open? Nice direct. Needs another arrow. He's gonna die. Sense 3 down. Froyo can't really push because it would just be 3v3. One person has the cap. So I'll set, set up 1 2. Somebody just flew in. I think it might still be factual that Rando has probably beaten Froyo more than anyone else. Rando, no, Badanti probably has beaten. Badanti has beaten Froyo more than anyone else, but Rando would be like the second most, I guess. It was kind of funny. Just because of like how, how much less he played the game. Nice, okay, they got plays.
pressuring spam. Sees the jumper, jumps away immediately. Doesn't get caught. We never got to see Froyo Bronzi. It was close. Um, I think I-58. Uh, I-58, Bronzi was like asked to maybe replace Muma because I don't think Fanny wanted to take Muma to land. I think Khabib was also asked, but they never fell through with it for whatever reason. I think because they won invite, they decided to just go with Muma. Chad exchanged through IT. On Shade. Shade is a way better Uber. That jump is very scuffed, so he dies for it. Yeah. Really bad. I think it would have been worth it for him to just go for kills up top. Jesus. Exchanging out of IT, like even Ubers out of IT is just like so my gosh. Why did Banny pick up Muma in the first place? Because uh, Muma was an up and cover, and he had a he had a good attitude early on. I think to like try hard to win. Like he was pretty good too. Yeah, he gets her gone by his rollouts. If you like, want to see like you have to watch like Muma, like either early on Froyo Tech, like his first season on Froyo, or. When he played with uh, Strawberry Mangoes, that's probably when you want to like see good Puma. All right, Nwana <laughs> just hit him with a Habib, and Ash just rolled Shrugger. Mela, nice rocket on the uh, Ash there from Mela, and 404 cleans it up. Wow, Ash got rolled there. That's actually a Muma fan. One of the few. Alright. Nice survival by these guys. Yeah. It was just pretty stupid. We watched, uh. We watched, uh, I 58. We watched I 58. Uh. Mike POV and Mumo was so slow to mid. Like Mike was so much faster than mid than he was. It was so sad. What did we watch? We watched Mike Yomson ran out of there. Uh -huh. I'll see what else I can find. I think I have I fifty two Turmo. I have I fifty two Lansky. I know that. Okay, four four got force there. That was like a miracle force. I-52 Turmo Demo Go Demo. I don't even know who that is typing because I can't. Your name is so dark on my phone. Jesus. Oh, whatever. Alright, well, trades with Banny and they die. Uh, this round is an L. Unless the sentry gun pops off. Shrugger popping off on NG, JK! Oh, Shrugger on Engineer, Chad! Shrugger actually did pop off there, just to hold the round. That was insane. Goodbye, Yomps! <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Okay, so Ash just gets double docked. This is, this is, this is fucking chaos. This is like clown shit. Oh my god. So Yops just gets killed by a spam rocket across the map by Banny, and then Bronski double dogs Ash. 
Okay, Clockwork. Okay, I wish that was fixed, but Clockwork tries to. Clockwork chads on melee, kills him. Dude, Rando's sick, I'm telling you. It's just. This. This demo, like. Even know how far in we were. It was like 38 minutes, I remember. So I don't know how. So I don't know how far that'll be in the demo. Let's just go at like. Let's check how much 150 is. Uh, let's see. It's like I remember the demo was on 38, 39 minutes. Out of memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of memory, texture quality might be too high. Is it playable after that or no? Oh god, my ears! 
There we go. Oh. past this point. Let's go do 160. Okay, here. I think this is just before the exchange. I think. I don't remember. Okay, I don't know where we are. I have no idea. Hawkwork might still be on sniper here. Is this it? Nice no, spamming somebody out. Nice no, he's just spamming that guy out. Have I been streaming since 3 a.m.? Yeah, I have, dude. I'm fucking on the grind. I'm just uh, playing an old rando demo that I have saved for whatever reason. But yeah, so Fox was still on sniper. So when Clockwork dies, they go to take this exchange. Not yet. Oh, this is incarnate. <laughs> okay, there's, this is where Ash is like, Hey Brad, talk, play, why near you? Okay, uh, they kill Clockwork. Now this is where uh, we get the chat exchange. Let's see... Let's see if it's as high impact as we think it'll be. Because he gets he gets the force, gets the multi, 100 damage on Banny, and then lands on the Wana. So there we go. Big. And he's back in on the Wana. Kill Oh, the Wana's so hurt! Beef! Okay, I don't have my crosshair. But it was kinda fat. They should all be able to get in off this. Nice. Yeah, they're winning just because of that. That exchange was fat. The one who did that. Okay, so 4 4 dies to Blaze Salvage. Yomps Trugger versus Clockwork. Okay, there goes Clockwork. Yomps just chatted on him. Clockwork kills. Yomps just kills Clockwork when Shade. Too bad Rando isn't dead long enough for us to see it, but he just chatted on them. And then he kills Ash. Yomps kills Ash too, so he's just on a rampage. And we don't, we don't get to see it. Not a second of it. It was bad. Alright. So now they're pushing. Three players were dead late. The heal should be late for Freya. No scouts beat the run him in. Almost hits it on Banny. Almost does it to him. Someone's back capping. He doesn't worry about it. He's fighting forward. That's been taken care of her on mid. Now still plays. The guy's still backing him on mid. Now they have to worry about it. Is that Ash? Oh, it's clockwork, okay. Wow. Yeah, Yams might have just... No, he had Trugger with him, so it would have been 2v3, but... He still won, though. I gotta get out. Might be even Ubers now. Yeah, it should be even Ubers. Probably doesn't want to go off the scout pick. Scout pick's not enough. Right. The sand has too much of positioning. The top of point is just really nice. Shuts down the scout, gets the kill with the shotgun. 4 4 gets forced really early compared to Shade. Nice bomb on the Dewana. Oh, he's too far from 4 4. Mela cleans up Blaze. They lose. 4 4 got forced way too early in that fight, I think. Because Rano was healthy and he was still healthy. I think Ash running forward to a pressure on. Like, Ash must have hit 4 4 below. 100 health. Otherwise, there was no need for him to pop. This feels, feels bad because he tried to make the most of the exchange. It's definitely an Uber he didn't want at that time. There's a lot of things. That's like a common pocket thing. Kills Ash, damages Vanny. Not enough to win the fight. Shrugger, Shrugger kills Clockwork. And he's buying time. Shrugger's just fucking around here. 
He does, so both soldiers are there. Not much you can do. Alright, they get the spawns there, so they can hold second. So for you, won't dry yet, I don't think, because they're feel the rest of their players shouldn't be there. Yeah, they're just beacon. Monazi hard holding with the loose cannon. This must be like OP cannon. Now feels blaze. They're peeking aggressively here. Rhino's not gonna be able to be the one to jump in here. So it'll have to be like Mela or something. He's just walking forward. He's just Chad walking. Even exchange again. He's got separated. Hits him. He hits that guy for way too much damage. Shit should have been able to save him. Big rock for Mela. That that rocket really hurt for you. They're they're they should be really weak after that. Nice. Once he kills plays. Shrugger does. I don't know what Rano sense is. You'll have to ask, uh, I think Yomps would know. Yomps has that shit saved somewhere. Alright. IT. Collecting health backs. The one is out lobby. Along with someone else. Dead. He's alive. Wow, that roller didn't kill him. No, Blaze is dead. Blaze is alive. Blaze is dead. Alright, so down three. 6v3. Should be able to get this round. God. The doorways. Uber exchange again. Everybody's in this Uber exchange. Now he has the positioning. He uses the Uber to get really good positioning. And now Froyo's just fucked. Yeah. The moment Banny and Duana turn to look at him, away from the point, Ascent won that push too. That was really good from him. He realized that there was no point in just standing on the point and taking damage with the rest of his team. Dropped away, they looked. So basically, like, even worst case scenario, like, like they don't just cap the point like that. He does a lot of damage post fight. Or if someone chases him, then they're not looking at the point. It's just good all around from him. Now he's out of sight, getting good spam, free spam. Our portals open all one. Well, I really. Oh, yeah, nice. I didn't know that. That's kind of nice to know. Now I'm gonna watch old demos. When Bobman wants to watch them. Alert. The control point is being contested. Holy fuck, is this Temus only like stuttering or am I just high? Alright. Big He just mans up on Banny. He's not really afraid of him. Banny versus Rando. Round 10. The exchange. Looks like Rando's coming out on top. He pushes half the team out of the fight. 404 dies though. Wait, Banny has better impact. Kills 404 and Shrugger. But Rando kills Banny. Melo kills Shade. Damn, that... I thought that exchange would have been better for Rando, but apparently not, huh? Yeah, they just cap. Melo can't do anything. Damn. I wonder what happened in the post rear because Rando had half of the other team not in the fight. So Banny must have just rolled Trugger. The Shrugger, there's no way Shrugger was being was fighting anybody other than just Banny there. Alright. This is the shotgun on the stickies. He has a shotgun loaded, so he's good. Double bomb. Kills Clockwork. Makes it look easy. Air shots blaze. Good, really good mid, just because of uh, the clockwork kill to begin with. With the air shot on Blaze, secures another kill. Cherry on top. Every version of Banny is scary, bro. Banman is Banman is kind of goaded. All right, the 
I can't take two. That was a fat mid though. Clock, look like Clockwork wasn't expecting to be bombed at all. Scout IT here, called out, took 60. He's gonna get the pack on mid. There's a sniper behind. Yeah, they should look for this guy. For sure. How long ago was this? This was season 20. Um, Might have been late 2015 or early 2016. One of the two. So they just all go back to mid because I'd assume. Sh okay, and Banny gets the force just because Clockwork ran behind. That is just like a healthy level of respect or fear, just not let someone else take care of them. And they just all crumble, it looks like they're crumbling a little bit. Alright, Yomps kills Blaze. Yomps is staying behind. Yomps dies to Banny. Yomps kills Ash. They still can't fight second right now, why are they in so deep? 4-4 got forced earlier. Where's all Froyo right now? That this is happening. Okay, Dewana's caught out. This is now just a bad fight for Froyo to get in for. Clockwork's trying to trying to salvage. They do get 404. Him and Blaze do come on for 404. How do you get so old demos? I've had this demo saved for. Oh fuck! I don't know how long I've had this demo saved. I've had this demo saved since 2016. Basically, so it's been on my hard drive. I just thought, all right, now I'm just fucking around, fucking around in IT. Ate like so many rockets. See, I'm still behind though. He's still alive. Banny's back room and a scout. The scout was clockwork. Cause Yomps just one v one him. All right, so Yomps kills clockwork. He's still behind too. That means. Right now, they're down to scout, and you have someone behind. An exchange just went down. No, not an exchange, just an uber. Nice surf by Brad. Can't stay alive though. That was a really sick surf, but... Looks like... Someone's still behind. It might still be Yomps. No, Shrugger. Shrugger back aft. Shrugger and Yomps back aft. And that's the game. GG. So Yomps just staying alive, killing Clockwork, just to save the game. Banny went really deep with the uber. To try to slap that, but it looks like everybody else lost their 1v1s. That's GG. It was a pretty good demo from Rando. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it here, I think. Who we got? Host. Host this guy, he hosted me yesterday. Give back, give back love. It was, uh, it was fun watching demos. Maybe we'll watch some more tomorrow or some other time, guys. See you guys later.